of playing Pokemon. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, boom. Dude, I love Stephen A. Smith so much, dog. Let this guy talk. Let him spit. Okay. Uh, what the fuck are we gonna do versus Banana? All right. I I sort of know, but I don't really know. You know, like Winona's scary. How much? How many turns can I prep out? How many turns can I prep out in a reasonable way? <clears throat> How much can I script out against this one on a foot? Let me get everything. I mean, I should have probably already got this pulled up, but let's do this then. Oh, I need to move chat. Wait, how do I get chat? Uh, go like there to get chat up? This is just gonna be fucking cook central. This is gonna be cooked central. What up, Munch? You ready for spreadsheet calculator simulator for two hours and then fighting Winona for probably also a half hour because it's a double battle it's time it's time to watch the script oh shit both my last two videos are over a thousand views now that's exciting I just noticed that now that makes me that makes me smile smile what up sky crimes you're the first on YouTube you are the first of the YouTubers all right Leader Winona, King Turtle, what is crack a lacking? It is, it is big spreadsheet time, baby. It is, it is big spreadsheet. We gotta figure out what the fuck, the Klana pin time. Let's go. So edge everything. So our plan, the plan is not simple. The plan is still being worked on. So. I think this is like my script I read up before. I want to have as many things sort of prepped as possible. I think our initial plan, our plan at the moment, how am I going to do this with the calc? Am I going to, I don't know how to nice, nicely, conveniently show y'all the calc as well as, oh wait, let me jump to in my spreadsheet. I have all of my team stuff with everyone at 55, so I don't have to keep on changing it. Yeah, this is about to be, I guess for, for prep enjoyers, this is going to be a good stream. For actually watching gameplay enjoyers, I apologize for what's about to happen for at least the next hour. Because I do not want to fumble the bag on the run. All right. So let's do this. So, uh, I think I've already found out that Wishcash, or no, Swellow, I believe, lead uh, Pokemon. Um, I think I've already found out that Swello, uh, can bait, which I, ooh, bacon, oh, dude, bacon sandwich with Gouda and some mayo? Sheesh! Well, what kind of soup do you have? I mean, that sounds good regardless. That sounds amazing. That sounds real good. Ugh. I mean, you can't go wrong with soup or sandwich, dude. In college, oh, God. In college, always going back for my one class, there's like this uh, little place you could pick up food on the way back. And uh, almost every day at a class there, I'd get a Philadelphia soft pretzel, a nice cup of chicken noodle soup, and a uh, cup of coffee. Oh, dude. That is, that is my, that would be, that's my last meal. That's my favorite. Homemade chicken noodle. Oh, dude, you don't need anything with that. But honestly, any sort of sandwich, bacon sandwich with Gouda cheese and mayo, dude. That sounds lovely. Man, now I want some chicken noodle soup. I, dude, I had the weirdest uh, post-work dinner. I think I ate, like, <laughs> I bought a, one of those rigs of uh, shrimp because it was on sale a couple days ago. And I, I, so I ate, like, half of a ring of shrimp, three pieces of buttered sourdough bread, uh, some strawberries dipped in vanilla yogurt. I think that's, that, am I forgetting anything? That, that was my, that was my boy dinner. That is absolutely my boy dinner. Uh, and it was delicious. All right. So I'm going to go back. I'll probably have, actually I'll have two calcs. I'll have a calc I can look at while I'm here and then the calc I can show you guys. So what I think, Chipotle, ooh, yeah. 
dude. I'm just such a, a chicken noodle enjoyer. Chicken noodles so chicken noodle, especially homemade chicken noodle soup, is so fucking good, dog. Okay. Maybe okay. I'll keep my list of Pokemon on my. I, I'm trying to can, do this in a way that you guys can see what's going on and we can prep handily. So let me let me recheck the Swellow. So Swellow versus both Aerodactyl and Zapdos. I think this should bait. So this would bait AP, which I, I think we're, we're, we we kind of have to bite the bullet and just hope that AP boost doesn't happen. Um, and we can decide if we want to swallow. We're probably gonna want to burn and silk scarf swallow, but that's that's for down the road. Um, so that beats AP and T bolt potentially hidden power ice. How many rolls of hidden power? Actually, hidden power ice is decently possible. Okay, so swallow baits T bolt from. Uh, Bates, AP from Arrow and uh, T Bolt slash Empower Ice from um, T Bolt and Hit Empower Ice from Zapdos. Okay. Yeah, I gotta. I really gotta step up my my cooking game. I think my weakest part of my so cooking game is. Uh, my sauces. I need to really get better at my sauces and like making them and kind of what sauces go with what I think is something I really need to step up my game. Okay. So we can have Swellow bait both of those moves. Uh, Swellow swaps into Wish Cash. So Wish Cash would take zero, takes uh, about 25. Cash takes zero percent from T Bolt or twenty five percent from HP Ice, and then Wish Cash takes uh, Aerodactyl takes about seventeen percent cash takes about does it really take a quarter from him power that's crazy how much that does uh, about 17 percent from AP all right and then on the other slot we would have I think my plan is I guess I could have all of the you guys are gonna get to see like how I would what it would look like to prep if I only prepped with one monitor and I was crunched in a little spot Because, no, we want Winona. We want Miss Ryder. Uh, okay. So, Amphi is going to... So, we our swats would be Swellow. Swellow swaps into Wishcash. And then I think it's so we can guaranteed Betamon. Because we were going to do this with Ampharos initially. However... Hmm. I also have to remember, too, I have, like, five or so, uh, I have, like, five or so, uh, what's the word for it? Heart scales available to me? Hmm. We also have a lot, I, uh, hmm. I gotta see if, so if Don Fan with Head Smash, uh, could that kill... That could kill Aerodactyl. Could that kill Zapdos? It would be a range to kill Zapdos, and then we'd have to Ice Shard after. Um, hmm. Would that bait... What would that bait? I mean, these would probably both bait Giga Drains, right? Huh. So I guess we would probably go... Uh, and Don Fan, I'm going to assume... Dumphead, I'm going to assume Bates Flygon. All right. Yeah. I also need a game Bates Flygon. So I think this is going to be... 
This would probably be our general plan is to like head smash kill some motherfuckers. How fast is Nido King though? Because if we could if we could line this up, Nido King is 121. Okay, maybe we use Nido King later. Because if we can get Nido King in safely with Moltres in, uh, especially if Nido King is like killing. Or Nido King is, uh, oh, we, we would need Nido King to come in on like someone else killing something to get that level and to get the boost. And can Nido King one shot Moltres with that? Yes. Okay, so that is probably a matchup we'd be looking for down the road for Nido King. But we need it to be fat. We need it to have an XP boost. Nido King can't bait. Nah, can't bait from Zapdos. Can't bait from Arrow. Nah. Or maybe we do end up keeping Aerodactyl alive because it's just going to be... It's fairly likely, likely to rip Earthquakes. I think the only problem about keeping it alive is that our head smashes just don't quite do enough is it to the Zapdos. We don't have a head smasher or someone who can just barely claw that out, right? Now that would be the T-Bolt. Um, I think this is a good... Oh, and then Nido King, or I guess we could use, do Don Fan there then. Well, what does Don Fan... If Don Fan's head smashing... Also, what move do we get rid of on Don Fan? Probably Endeavor, which makes me sad. Uh, but Ice ice Shard, Rock Smash, or... Maybe, yeah, probably not Rock Slide. Oh, I have to make sure this is doubles damage too for that. Big Prepper. Uh, they call me Mr. Morale and the Big Preppers out here. Fuck the big three. It's just big me. Bum. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's continue exploring this line. Uh, head smash on... We head smash into the Aerodactyl slot. <sighs> Okay, and then that would kill Aerodactyl. And then that would put... Hmm. Any benefit of doing this with Donphan? Well, okay, so Donphan on turn two. Donphan's going to be at, like... Uh, Donphan... Oh, let me... Donphan, head smash. It's like 31%. We'll say 32% recoil. So would then the Flygon that is going to come in, <coughs> they would not guarantee bait from Flygon. Could it rip a, could Donphan just rip another head smash? I guess, what is, I guess it depends on a 30, 34, 32, huh? What's the odds? This goes with the 56. It gets better odds to kill. Hidden power ice. 111. And how much is 30? It does 32% recoil. That would put us at 60... 58, actually, right? 32... Oh, so that might put us at a range where, huh, that would be a problem. Yeah, so it's pretty likely to put us at a range where um, HP Ice kills. That's really annoying, that's Hidden Power Ice. Maybe it is better to kill Zapdos first. It probably is better to kill Zapdos, because what, what's the what's fucking Dick Shoe McGee going to do? here on this one might rip yeah like he's not doing anything the don fan oh and 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 oh wait no 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 wait that actually might be kind of sick because then there's a possibility we could if we could switch in a mon that takes these moves without Wait, 
how does I, I'm cooking? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Trust me, I'm cooking. How does Nido King feel about ancient? Oh, dude, I'm so cooking, right? Wait, I, I lied. I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking at all because Nido King gets rocked by earthquake after. I lied about cooking. Uh, unless we can find a mon that takes these, and then what's it? Flygon's going to be coming in? So we'd need a mon that... <clears throat> because it would probably be better in that situation if Head Smash doesn't kill. Uh... Let me let me let me see if I can convey what I'm saying. Is there any world where head smash plus ice smash ice doesn't kill Zapdos? No, that always is gonna kill. Because if we could swap in a mon that takes these two moves on that slot and then fly we and then it's gonna ice shard in the next turn and then be able to take whatever random move Aerodactyl's throwing, and then could on the flygon coming in just like bop it. Hard mode dev update too. Ooh, that's exciting. I would love to play that on stream, Jordan. That'd be fun. Or at least play that all, or at least take a look at it. <laughs> they give my thoughts and opinions. <laughs> okay. So the puzzle now here is, is there a mod that can take T-Bolt from Zapdos, T-Bolt, Hidden Power, Ice from Zapdos, um... Or I guess a mon that can bait a set of moves that can also come in and kill uh kill Flygon. Cause we could bait with someone that isn't Swellow. We would just need to bait. Uh, okay. Well, I think that the question is, what is a the first way out of this puzzle is who is a Pokemon that can, regardless of speed, because speed's not going to matter because Ice Shard will kill first and then Flygon will come in. Um, oh, but it would have to also bait in Flygon, right? Because I don't think someone like Dugong baits in Flygon. It does. Okay. Let him cook, let him cook. So Dugong would just kill Flygon on coming in. So then, uh... Oh, wait. You know what? Wait, I might have I might have an insane cook here. Hmm. Oh wait! Oh no 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 no! Wait 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 wait! Oh, I might have I might have a ludicrous cook here. Cause what I'm thinking is if Don Fan gets low enough after head smashing and we keep. Zapdos alive instead of that. We on Zapdos. Ah. Oh. oh wait, yeah, yeah. Uh, on Zapdos, Zapdos is gonna see. It's not gonna see. It might see a kill on Dugong if we swap in Dugong on. Oh, if we can guarantee bait hidden power ice from this, that would be even more insane. And then. Okay, okay, but because Lightning Rod. Lightning Rod Raichu is the, the thing I'm thinking about. <laughs> oh, I guess we, we couldn't... No, nah, we couldn't make the swap on that. Uh, we'd have to... Yeah, we couldn't make the swap on that because we need... Uh, no, because if we're killing Aerodactyl, it's going to be Ant. And does Don Fan... Would Don Fan bait uh, Giga Drain from Flygon? I w huh. Can we get Can we get Don Fan low enough that it would bait Giga Drain? Cause then Flygon would come in, dude, and having having speed winning Dugong who's faster than both Dugong would be faster than both of Zapdos and Flygon after a uh Icy Wind, right? Oh, it'd be a speed tie? Uh, would it be... Dugong would be... No, because Dugong would get the level immediately because he'd be coming in. Oh, dude, this could be insane. 
I feel like I'm, I'm cooking up something really cool here if this could work. Okay, so the plan loosely is if this if the numbers line up. So we start with Don Fan and Amon who can bait uh, Hidden Power Ice. Or they can bait Hidden Power Ice from Flygon. Oh, I guess the problem with Dugong is Dugong uh, probably hates all of the moves that Aerodactyl is going to be sending its way. Yeah, okay. We would need... What is something that could bait like... Earthquake and Hidden Power Ice? Or Hidden Power Flying? And what would this bait from Zapdos? Well, it would have to be low enough. Sky Attack? How do you feel about Sky Attack, Dugong? Mm. Yeah, we are... This is, this is all we gotta cook. Dugong doesn't love Sky Attack. We really want it to be Hidden Power Ice. Okay, who can bait a Hidden Power Ice? Vile Plume? Uh, nah. What up, British Snorlax? What's cracking like? Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. Salamence? What up, Slimy Chungus? Yeah, we're, we are fucking in the woods today. So what if we open with Salamence then? What would Salamence... Oh, Sal could Salamence bait Aerodactyl at the right health? <sighs> huh. The new way to get Blossom. Hell yeah, the gender bender stone. Calc oh yeah, I guess that's true. Oh yeah, we'd have to reduce it so much. Maybe we just don't give a shit about Aerodactyl. That's also a possibility. Why do I have Kabutops in? So what about Salamence? So Salamence would... Uh, I... <clears throat> It still might hit Earthquake here. I mean, it's it's it would be a 50-50 between Earthquake or H and Power here. If it doesn't see a kill. Because even though Earthquake's not going to hit this, it would hit Donphan. Oh, God. Uh, so, I don't know if we could guarantee bait that on this slot. And Donphan, I imagine, doesn't give a shit about it. Yeah, Donphan can completely ignore Aerodactyl. Donphan, we're probably going to give Head Smash. I think that just makes sense. Um, love Stone. I love Stone. Um, I guess that is the annoying part, though, if, if we were making the swap into Dugong, that it could be AP on this slot. Okay, so... Because what the the thing that I'm thinking of in my plan is we lead with Don Fan and Amon who can bait moves that Dugong likes to take in, uh, and then we would have Don Fan head smash Aerodactyl because it's a guaranteed kill. That would bring in that always brings in Flygon, um, and then we'd have uh, that would always bring in Flygon, and we'd probably we want to calc it to a place where Flygon is baiting... No, that would bring in Flygon on the slot that's baiting the moves Dugon when it takes. Switch in, switches in Dugong, um, and then it'll be Donphan who is baiting a Giga Drain, and Dugong... Who, oh, probably Donphan baiting a Giga Drain might also bait a Hidden Power Ice, which would be the problem. Uh, right? Because I was thinking we'd swap Raichu into the Donphan slot because Zapdos is going to see a kill with Thunderbolt on Dugong. Dugong uses Icy Wind, uh, slows down both sides so it's faster, uh, and then can <clears throat> we can start chaining kills on Mons coming in, potentially with uh, Raichu and uh, that. Oh, but I guess... No, uh, Aerodactyl would be dead, so we won't be seeing Earthquakes most likely. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you completely lost. Fair. Well, the what we're currently looking for is a mon that can bait the moves we'd want to see going into Do Dugong. Well, I do have. See, the the notepad will not, the notepad will not handle the notes. So I have all of my normal tabs here, because the notepad against this would not work. So we're, because <laughs> we have to basically. I want to basically walk out every turn. 
Because if we can, if we can get Dugong in, if we, especially if we can have like a situation where like Icy Wind kill. No wait, because it doesn't bring in the other mana after. If we can get Dugong in and be ripping 100% Ice Beams on motherfuckers, or hitting Icy Winds on motherfuckers coming in. Uh, slowing them down so we can, like, change it. I think having, or Donphan even, like, aiming on a slot that's coming in could be crazy. Like, getting Donphan in safe. No notepad memes, truck pad. Okay, but... That's, I guess I want to check that first. Can Donphan not... Can Donphan, can you not... Can we put Di Don Gan... Don Gan. Donphan in a place where it would bait Giga Drain after head smash... Uh, Ice Shard still does a lot. Uh, can bait Giga Drain after Head Smash because we don't want Dugong baiting a Giga Drain. Oh, Dugong, wait, it would Earthquake because we need Donphan to die. Or, wait, 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 what about Nido King? Oh, Nido King always baits like Earthquake, which we don't want to see. Hmm. We have a couple of Explosion Mods. I'd like to avoid using them if possible. Uh, especially because we'd like to use them for Tate and Liza. But if if we gotta, we gotta. Stem zone. Pichu into mining? Interesting. When you start a new game and immediately choose the harder, you have to take more. That's all. That's I have the the gamer brain when I'm playing a game where it's like you look at the two paths and whichever path that doesn't look like you're supposed to go down, that's the one you go down first, because you get you don't want to have to backtrack. Uh, okay. Okay, because we can't. So thinking about this again, we can't do this with. <laughs> we we want to make sure we're baiting in. Flygon, because Ampharos was the one that sometimes baits in Crobat. Yeah, so we can't use Amphi here. Uh, uh, what was the thing I was looking at? Uh, Donphan baiting uh, Giga Drain, and, but not baiting Ice. I, Hidden by Ice is more, so it would probably bait that. Damn. Huh. Exploring's a little cheeky thing. Hmm. Art scale on roids. Okay, so... Oh, man. I think getting Dugong in safely, I feel like, would be insane for us. But, so, but... Okay, so, who is Dugong afraid of on her team? I think both of these starting mods. So maybe, the, maybe we save Dugong coming in safely for a later turn. I think that might be a totally fine thing. God damn. Pedro, I hopefully you don't get Pedro and Butterfree on early routes as well if you're they're that strong. Okay. So What is the the So we can either then Hmm. So if Wishcash Wishcash would be it like at least I don't know. We have Wishcash in. We can have Wishcash in against Aerodactyl and. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm. Uh, that's that's the the non PG term for brain blast. Okay. Dude, double battles make me wanna make me wanna add more ram to my brain okay so wish cash comes in takes like nothing for agent power um uh, if we kill hmm. so what's flygon doing here if flygon comes in right away then flygon this is the wrong flygon flygon comes in right away um it's almost always baiting giga drain this slot and then this would uh can we make wish cash I see Wishcash can't bait a move from Aerodactyl, is what I'm seeing. It would not bait a move from Aerodactyl, um, and it wouldn't bait a move from Zapdos, right? Or wouldn't guarantee bait a move, I should say. 
yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Do not cook for me. I'm just... I just need a second to think. I ain't be booming. Let's go. Big money. Was that the thing you decide on, British Norlax? I think I remember you saying you were, like, between a couple of things. Like, some sort of weapon, a game console. Oh, no. Oh, and I gotta factor in if these mods are edged. I gotta edge. Ah, oh, damn. Because then they would be getting 56 here on the swap. Okay. I guess the question is, do we want to get rid of Zapdos? Is Zapdos scarier or Aerodactyl scarier? I think Zapdos is probably scarier. Especially with this big-ass Empower Ice. Too many hours in save files to go PS5. Makes sense. Um, what's the point? Oh, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Yay! I'm glad. So we probably kill Zapdos first, because I think Aerodactyl's more of, like a is a more manageable mon or like less threatening. Uh, so this would be then. Don Fan is going to. Wishcast is going to come in on that. Especially I guess we could make a swap on the Flygon turn. Um, well, that would happen after. Oh, I guess they would get the Dugong would get the levels. What what comes in after? Okay, so let me let me write things down. So this is gonna happen, and then we're gonna have either Don Fan slash Nido King are going to head smash. Oh well, no, this probably has to be unless Nido King can one shot for sure. I think this has to be Don Fan because it we need to ice shot the next turn. Yeah, it doesn't come close. So this is Don Fan then. That we're going to have to use a shard. Do we have a shard in our inventory or do we have to go grab one? Also, we're already going to... What are the odds we get off script here? Oh, no, dude. Uh, we're really betting a 50... We're really playing a 50-50 game? I guess we can play around both. I guess. Oh, uh, why? Why couldn't we either have a considerable less amount of attack or more around attack? Why do we have to play around a coin flip? Oh, I hate it here. I hate it here. I love coin flips. Um, we don't have a hard scale, but there's like, I think like th 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 at least three we can go grab. I just made random noises for a while. Um, is there any other mon that can do crazy stuff here in one, 1v1 without dying? But I guess we do also have Rock Tomb. One or two can get you a uh, Relicanth or a Quillfish, right? If I'm not mistaken. But early one or two is, is super risky if I'm also not mistaken on that. Uh, so Don Fan is gonna head smash, head smash, Zapdos, Barbrook or Carvana. Oh, so then it would just be Carvana because we already have Wish Cash. Oh wait, oh one oh two. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the the start of the game. Yeah, because both those mods are really really good. Carvana is really really good, um, and with Barbrook is like a required mod. Required. Very, very good. Do KO and bring in Flygon. 50% to leave in Ice Shard range. I think we'd prefer the Ice Shard range. Okay, and then the next turn, uh, so either Zapdos dies... So if it's, uh, how much recoil? Uh, 
Um, 34% recoil, so Don Fen is at, uh, bam, 34 minus 100. 66. That's right. Don Fan's at 66, so likely it, it's not going to matter what move this guy's using. Don Fan at 66% HP. Cool. So Don, if Don Fan's at 66% HP, is it possibly baiting anything from Aerodactyl? Or I don't, I don't think either Mon in would bait anything, which I mean just gives even more credence to the fact that uh, I, I it probably would most likely to cook Earthquake or Agent Power here because of Risky AI. Um, it could, could be like random move looks like into Dom Fan. Um, yeah, I, I'm so, I'm so, I'm late game pilled, you know? That part of the game is behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, fucking picking your starter? Yuck. Ew. Sunflora? I don't know her. Yuck. Uh. How to get personal psyche demon. Okay, so Aerodactyl is clicking a random move. Flygon. This is Tabitha's Flygon. I wish it was her. I wish it was me. Flygon would be clicking Giga Drain on this slot. On the Don Fan slot, which uh, would not kill, uh, but I mean, it's likely if if Flygon's still in, is is clicking like Giga Drain or Earthquake. Okay, what what's the next step here? Where do we where do we go? I guess we maybe prefer, and then so Aerodactyl. Uh, I mean, both of these Mons potentially could be t clicking Earthquake. So we go in, like Wish Cash. Not Wish Cash. Wish Cash is over here. Oh, Wish Cash is. Uh, if Flygon is in, it would be baiting a Giga Drain. Uh, Earthquake's still pretty probable as well because it gets the bonus for the Flying Mon next to it. It could be like double Earthquake. Um, so, what if we go into like. It's never going to Dragon Claw, right? Flygon's never going to Dragon Claw. Uh. And this is going to help us with levels. I guess this could be an interesting thing to help us with levels. Uh... God, I wish I could slow down Flygon. If I could slow down Flygon. If I could find a way. Um. Is... Um, Dugong afraid of Flygon? A little bit with the EQ. God, I just want to be able to slow it down. I mean, we could give... I mean, this Don Fan doesn't have room in the move slot for Rock Tomb, right? And Don Fan's already doing so much for the culture. So... Let's, let's, let's go turn to... Uh, Zapdos lives. Turn to Zapdos lives, which is the preferable, and I guess we can't we can't push the odds either way. Uh, ice shard. Don fan. Ice shard. KOs. Zapdos. Brings in Flygon. Uh, Bechtel does does random move on random slot. Likely EQ. What up, Skeleton Gang? Um, what is... So is there a mod that can just... That like, hey, it's taken no damage or little damage from uh, Don from uh, Aerodactyl that can just come in and be like, oh, I'm gonna kick your ass, Flygon. How fast is Fly Flygon's like decently fast, right? 132. I don't think we get someone that's faster, even if they they have the level coming in, right? This would hurt a lot. Um. 
I mean, I think like the, the most generic and safe option is, huh. The most generic and safe option is, oh, Flygon, Castform kind of, kind of kicks Flygon's ass, but does not like wrong, wrong Flygon. Oh, you're right. I got to stop doing that. Sag. I mean, we're likely to see, we're most likely to see an earthquake from uh, Aerodactyl, right? So if we go into like, hmm, mm, 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 mm. who am I thinking of? Salamence, Salamence. That's not the one we're worried about. We're probably worried about most of like rock from engine power from Aerodactyl. What up, Indy Kim? I'm fucking in the cut right now. Yeah, because Aerodactyl with potential rock move is scary. I don't think we have a mon that's just like, yes, all of Aerodactyl's move. Hit me with those. We're just so afraid of Ancient Power. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, I mean, I guess that as long as it isn't... Well, if it is Earthquake, then... Okay, how do we... How the fuck do we get Nose Pass in safely? Because Rock Tomb would be really nice. Or AP on something. Or countering something. Probably not countering something. <laughs> yeah. I, I will love it once it's over. So if we're doing this... Um... It'll be fun if I win. Everything... Oh, dude, I hate those fights where everything just falls apart. Uh... Oh, can Surf also do this? Oh, well, well Surf's not gonna... Oh, dude, I don't wanna... I don't wanna wait for our lives. We don't have Waterfall, right? I wish we had Waterfall. What's Hydro Pump's accuracy? <laughs> that's, that's a bad thought. Let's not explore. Let's not explore Hydro Pump. I ain't not. Oh, it's 90? Ah, there's no way I missed that. Ain't no way I missed that, right? Let's see. I've never missed Hydro Pump once. Uh, Kendra. <sighs> I've never missed Hydro Pump. Let's just check it in game. I can't get like a scope lens or some shit to make sure I don't miss. 85 that's great <laughs> what why would i ever not just risk my entire run on that hitting i guess we could bring this in to take oh no it's gonna take a t-bolt uh maybe another maybe another option how many mods do i have that don't uh how many mods do I have that don't fear Aerodactyl? Uh... Well, I guess we'd have to get rid of Aerodactyl. Hmm. Is Aerodactyl more scary or is Zapdos more? I think the Hidden Power Ice on Zapdos is more scary. But this guy then, with all the rock moves, is all scary. Maybe I'm maybe I'm I'm fucking up my priorities here. Um, that it's like first we take care of first order business, do good deeds and get good karma. Um, I guess Wishcash doesn't really hate. Wishcash doesn't. If Wishcash can stay in if this is. Oh. Yeah. 
Wish Cash can, and I, I think that's probably better because it gives us more flexibility in game. It gives us more flexibility if, if Zapdos doesn't die. Because if Zapdos doesn't die, we could just rip a damaging move with Wish Cash. Uh, Surf, stronger, not as strong as Muddy Water. So the same. Um, Wish Cash, learn uh, Rock Slide. Uh, but would we want to give it to Wish Cash? Probably not. Because, uh, I mean, getting some good chip in here would be really nice. I love the Lightning Child. When do you level up? <laughs> After you, in a double battle, when do you level up? Like, if I Ice Shard kill Zapdos... Do I get the EXP for edging right after that? And then would Wish Cash get to be pushing a, a level 56 Surf? Or, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, shit. Wait, what about that? Why does Aurora Beam not do jack shit to this guy? Hmm. On every KO. Okay, so we would get the updated damage. But, yeah, I love... See, that's why I asked the question, because I have no fucking clue, and I love that I immediately get both answers. I get no... I get yes and no. Because it's something you never have to worry about. Okay. So I guess if Flygon's coming in... If, if Flygon is coming in on that turn, we rip... Does like a roar beam plus Does a roar beam plus ice shard kill? So a roar beam does like 60, ice shard would do like Nah, not enough. I guess it would depend on where we're at health wise if we wanna suck up a Giga Drain, huh? We'd probably wanna just in that situation like surf with uh Surf with Whiskash. It's going to depend a lot on how much HP it has left and what mods are in. Uh, work was... Uh, yeah. I'm glad it's over. Work was work was uh, not great. I did spend some of work building my PC, which is almost done. It's not turning on! I plugged everything in and it's not uh, doing any BIOS. It's not even booting so I can troubleshoot the BIOS. So <laughs> even my slacking off at work was unsuccessful. But we that is that is a probably tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go into work tomorrow. I might send tomorrow troubleshooting stuff. Also, now I have a I didn't think I was gonna have a gig for a couple months. I have gonna have a gig Saturday now. Uh, so I yeah, especially might take off Wednesday because I am going to be very tired. I'm only now catching up with the the sleep. I went to bed like two hours early yesterday and now I'm finally starting to get back. Okay, so I think Dugong is is going to be a part of the plan here. Absolutely, it will be. Um, so if mods we're gonna bring, we're gonna we have to bring someone who baits. Um, uh, no, I don't want a new tab. Um, team. Control T. What is what is is it Shift T? I'm I'm having a stroke. Don't mind. Don't don't mind me. My brain is my brain's already fried. It's control underscore is what I'm looking for. So our team's gonna be Don Fan, uh, Swellow, or someone else who can bait stuff. Dugong, um, or Wishcash. Seems like our three so far. Yeah. Because we would want Dugong, if we can get in a situation where Dugong can come in on a move. Yeah, because like the perfect situation for Dugong to come in, I guess if. Hmm, if Wishcash is still around and kicking and is able to rip this move on Arrow. Dude, I'm so tempted to just fucking rip it. We need like two muddy waters to go through. It's probably just going to be earthquakes from this guy, though. I think we're probably bringing. Maybe it is Salamance instead.
Because if we could Salamence starting off, I guess Salamence wouldn't guaranteed bait that. Do we really need to guaranteed bait? Oh, was it Zapdos even guaranteed bait? No, it's not a guaranteed bait on that slot. Cause so I guess Don Fan could die if we don't do like a guaranteed bait on that slot. Okay, so we can't we can't use make Swellow into uh, Salamence. Yeah, because I think it's probably smart to bring in Salamence if if. If it's going to be like a Giga Drain into the slot from Flygon. Giga Drain into the slot from Flygon. It'd be good to get the minus one. It could, yeah, Giga Drain does nothing. And then on the Dragon Claw, did, how does Dugong feel about Dragon Claw? Doesn't really mind it. And then hopefully we'd be put in a situation there where Earthquake doesn't do as much. We can Icy Wind to slow it down. Okay, I think that's probably... Going, our plan is going to involve something of like this, this, this. Uh, Don Fan, Swellow, Wish Cash, uh, Salamence. Salamence and Dugong. Swallow is the only slot where I think this could be flexible. We might, but I mean, that guaranteed baits two moves at full health. And if we can get Swellow in safely, um, especially because Swellow would automatically be 56, even if it is burned. Um, I guess it, I, do, are we putting Swellow in uh, harm's way for no particular reason? Like, how how long is Swellow going to be safe? Is I guess the question on that. Uh, silk scarf, burn. Like Swellow could if we can get Swellow in safely, or if, if it's earthquake. So if we know, like, the move slots, or it's going to be Earthquake, no, I don't want to beat that. Like, how can, who can Swellow, Swellow can outspeed, uh, Swellow at 56 can outspeed every single member on her team besides Aerodactyl. So Moltres can't quite kill, but with, like, a little bit of chip, if it was coming, if there's, like, a Surf or, a, like, a, another Mon that did a little bit of chip. Can kill Flygon coming in early. Well, Flygon, this is probably not going to be Flygon's to deal with. Yeah, hers to deal with. Flygon, Articuno. Yeah, so with like a little bit of chip from anybody else, Swellow can kill. But this probably just kills straight out. So I don't think Swellow is. We just have to. Who's got an Earthquake? Flygon. Articuno has Ice Shard, which is terrifying. Um, anyone else have Quick Attack? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I always try with these fights to prep turn by turn and then it just all falls apart because there's so many possibilities. Um, then who is going to be... So what comes in after Flygon goes down? Crobat? Who has Earthquake beyond... Well, I guess that's the thing too. Once Flygon is down, we're... we're there's no double target moves. There's no more Earthquake. So there's a lot less free swaps after that, you know? Yeah, once Aerodactyl is dead, we are not... There's no more Earthquakes coming through. Um, Is Dugong afraid of Articuno... Is Dugong afraid of any of Articuno, uh, Crobat, and Moltres? Do -do 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 -do. No, I were Dugong. Show me the real Dugong. Does Dugong really give a shit about any of those last three mods? Uh, I guess Hidden Park Grass kind of hurts, and Sky Attack kind of hurts. Okay, maybe it does quote unquote give a shit. Uh, and then Moltres. 
sky attack cards. Damn. So Dugong is only useful in a situation where we could Ice Shard and then we could Icy Winds to slow stuff down and then like Chain Kills. Well, I guess how much does uh, this guy do to mons that are not... Uh, okay, maybe this guy is not as beautiful as a counter mon as we previously thought. I imagine this guy can kill Crobat. So uh, let's go, let's go, let's go... Let's go back to this. Let's go Pikachu. So Zapdos lives. Um, Zapdos lives. Kills that. Brings some Flygon. Muddy water from... Muddy water from... Wishcash does... Um, it's Flygon... Just like nothing to fly down. Maybe we Aurora Beam instead? Or what does this do to Aerodactyl? Hmm. It does like 40 to Aerodactyl. Um, would we just rip the Aurora Beam? What's the best call? Do we. Hmm. I wish we could slow it down. I wish we could turn back time. I wish we could find a way. But we can't guarantee do this because this might just be Flygon coming in on the swap, ripping a Giga Drain. Which then we'd have to swap Wish Cash into something that is safe on that. Um, and then what's Donphan doing? Well, Donphan's ice sharding, and then the turn after that. So Donphan's really not afraid of Aerodactyl. I think we've been over this. Now, let me. Right, I said smash on Don. Uh, huh, it sucks that this guy is so slow, but would be afraid of Flygon, right? Probably not. I mean, if if can we set it up so Wishcast is at a health that is always baiting Giga Drain? Um, so Donphan can just head smash Aerodactyl to kill it? You know? And if it's baiting Giga Drain, Nido King might be able to come in on that. Actually, I don't know. Giga Drain doesn't do too much. We'd be afraid of Earthquake from, uh, Earthquake from Fly, uh, from Aerodactyl. So what would, so Wish Cash comes in taking, oh, I mean, this is, this is the big question mark here. Uh, that would be the big, big question mark, because then we'd be putting Don Fan at the line. We don't know how much damage we need to. Well, okay, this Giga Drain does so much. So even after, say, it would only be Ancient Power doing 17. Um, so this would be at 83 then. So how much health would Wish Cash, we'd have to put Wish Cash lower to make sure it dies. Um, so it's going to always lose. Let's go into the actual math here. And this might just be all for naught if it, it's not alive. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. This is actually for naught. Because if this happens, then... Yeah, if this happens, then uh, Wish Cash gets a free turn to do whatever. Yeah, because in my mind, if if the head smash doesn't kill Zapdos, we ice shard the turn after that, and then Aerodactyl does something to the to the squad. Uh, I guess we'd less prefer that. I mean, I'm going back and forth. Uh, we'd less prefer that, but that means Wish Cash gets a free turn to attack, um, and then pro and then baits Giga Drain from Flygon. Hopefully, it's not at the point where Don Fan baits both, or. Yeah. It 
and then it gets a free turn. I guess we could Aurora Beam. Uh, is it sl uh, No, because it'd be Ice Shard. So we could Aurora Beam on the Flygon slot. And then bait the Giga Drain on that. Um, oh, we could probably Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Flygon then, right? Or we could even... Can Don Fan Head Smash Flygon? I feel like it doesn't do any nearly as much. Do we get rid of Rock Slide? Maybe get rid of Rock Slide and keep Endeavor. Endeavor Ice Shard just seems so good. Especially for a fight. Like, we could definitely use Endeavor Ice Shard for something. I think maybe we get rid of Rock Slide. Which feels a little goofy, ah, but... Huh. Don Fan's such a good Pokemon. Yeah, we should be at a, a point where this doesn't beat that. So I think <sighs> our basic plan is Don Fan, Wish Cash, kill that, and then Don Fan is either going to like head smash Aerodactyl, or it's going to either head smash Aerodactyl or do some other shit. If Salamence is in, it would probably bring in Articuno. Um, right. Um, and what, and I assume from Articuna this bait's an ice type move. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, might even just kill with Ice Shard. That's terrifying. Uh, Don Fan, I imagine with a, um, a oh, Rock Slide does so much this. Oh, well, Ice Beam could kill this too. How do we, hmm. Damn, if we only had a faster Pokemon that if, if our Salamence was faster and could bait in Articuno on a head smash, but I guess this would be like the third head smash. Can Needle King also do that with head smash? Yeah. I think that's probably a situation we're going to probably have to try to set up. Um, I think Needle King's probably going to be a bring just because head smash does so much to these mons. Maybe it's Needle King instead of this. But we need to set up in the situation. Uh, we we uh, recently swapped band practice from Tuesday to Wednesday. So that's why uh, there's streams on Tuesday now. Uh, man. Yeah, that's that's why I got all swapped up. That was like a couple weeks ago we swapped. And uh, I thought we weren't going to have band practice this Wednesday. But we have a last minute gig we're subbing in for our guitarist's other band. Lead singer's other band. So we might have practice tomorrow. But I don't know yet. Yeah. Because Nino King can probably take a lot of good moves on a swap and head smash. Head smash killing both Moltres and Articuno, I would assume. Yeah. If we can set up a situation where we're ice sharding the kill. Um. Yeah. So, because th this is probably like a, a later one where if. Do we have anyone else with good priority? Then priority would be so sick. Uh, other Pokemon having Ice Shard would be sick as hell. Alas. Uh. Oh, Dugong gets Ice Shard at 67. I'm going to be dead by the time I get that. Okay, we're still cooking. We're still trying our best. Uh, I don't think I have any mods with extreme speed. That is a good question, though. Swell I think Swallow could have it, but misses out on it, or we'd have to... Whatchamacallit it? That might be worth it. Swallow, in fact, does not get it. Damn. Uh, okay. So, bada bada bada. We're gonna have Don Fan's either gonna kill Aerodactyl, and then if we're swapping in on that, I guess we could Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard. I think Salamence, I think this seems like a solid br set of brings so far. So then what happens, um, 
Because I feel like there, there's so many lines after the after this point. Who comes in after Crobat? Am I really afraid of Crobat with a lot of these mons? Oh, I guess it depends on who we have in. I guess ideally we don't want to have Salamance in here. Um, Winona. I guess Giga Drain from this guy uh, is the scary thing. Does... Sky Attack is annoying. Um... Faster, I guess this does. Uh, what about Salamence? Salamence doesn't have a horrible matchup here. Not speed. Oh, well, yeah, speed would be. I mean, we could give Rock Tomb to this Salamence. Oh, Dugong, buddy, old pal. This thing is one slower. We're still not faster. No dice. Okay, so who's the who's the crowback killer? Who is the crowback killer? Mm -hmm. I need having to do all the swallow shit. Uh, swallow. Uh, swallow is faster. If we can get Swallow in safely, Copium, Copium, Copium. Um, I wonder if we just bring a Sack Mon. Or a, I, we probably should bring a Mon that we wouldn't be sad to lose. Because so far we have a lot of Pokemon we would not want to lose. Swallow not being the one I'm saying to Sack. Potato Sack? No, <laughs> Potato Sack. No, I, I like Potato. Uh, yeah, facade with a little bit chip. Mm. Maybe Dugong is that, is that Mon. Because we can get Icy Winds, if we can get like one Icy Wind down against most sets of Pokemon, we're in heaven. Oh, Amphi doesn't really mind this too much. But how do we get Amphi in? I mean, yeah, Hidden Power Ground doesn't do too much. If it's coming in on a Giga Drain, can Amphi also take the Giga Drain from Flygon? But we'd we'd have to be in a situation where Flygon can die. Yeah, because we need those. Because uh, we need both. For Ampharos to kind of pop off, we need both Flygon and... Uh, we need Flygon and Aerodactyl dead. Yeah. No, uh, I think it evolves at 65. Yeah. Uh, so the likely order we're going to get here is... So we would use Donphan's gonna kill Zapdos. Then Donphan's we're also gonna get Donphan to try to kill Aerodactyl, so then it would be Crobat Flygon. Crobat Flygon. Uh, do we want Crobat Flygon or do we want to keep Aerodactyl in? Uh, Swellow can one tap some of the later mons, I believe. Or Swellow. Swellow gets close. I think Swellow for most mons is either one tap or like a little bit below one tap. Yeah, like this. Um, Moltres. It's like a little bit close on uh, everyone. It is faster. So if we could set up a situation where it's like... Hmm. 
we could set up a situation where I wish we had another Mon with a priority. Or we were... I guess we have Quick Attack on P Pichu. Do, 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 do. Maybe we bring Pickle? But who does Pickle having uh, Lightning Rod would be good if we were bringing... We could bring like... It's, I guess we just need to get through the three Mons with Earthquake as soon as possible, you know? But then that makes swell. See, we're, we're in a weird 50-50, whereas if we get through the Mons with uh, Earthquake, then we could use these Electric Mons a little bit better. We'll just pickle one-shot, outspeed Crobat. No, not even close. It doesn't even outspeed. It doesn't one-shot. Amphi doesn't ask people one shots, right? Or likely one shots. I think that might be the line of like, because Ampharos has, uh, if we can get, it's like getting Ampharos or Dugong in safely seems like a really good place to be at. Let me put this over here. Who else am I forgetting? Like Moltres, Overeat, I guess does hurt a lot. But, I mean, if we can have Ampharos being slower than another Mon or, like, having priority kill something else, and then we have Ampharos T-bolting in on the slot coming in, insane. Insane. Insanity mode. After, of course, Flygon is dead. Um, yeah, because Flygon fucks it up. Um, I mean, it kind of, I guess, besides that, can fuck up Aerodactyl. Besides the Aerodactyl killing it. So, let's see, like, Don Fan, Don Fan's gonna kill Zapdos. Oh, I guess, oh, we can, we would need to bring in Swellow sooner. Ah, oh, but Swellow, we'd need to, we can, we could bring Swellow in on a, uh, if we know, oh, cause, like, if, if Don Fan's still alive, like, Ice Shard Facade should rock some motherfuckers. But that's not knowing if we can guarantee Earthquake is the issue. Because Swellow probably is cool with every move. Okay, Swellow, I take it all back. Swellow is not cool with every move. Oh, but if it's Muddy Water and we're able to get Swellow in on a slot safely, we can chip. There's there's so many moving parts, guys. Ugh. I think this is an always bring, this is an always bring, this is, these three are always brings, and then everything else is question marks. <laughs> Maybe it's like Nido King, Dugong, Ampharos? <sighs> and we just fucking wing it, and I would not love losing any of these four, but I could. I feel like there's too many fucking lines, too. Because Ampharos, Ampharos cleans house. Um, Ampharos cleans house once all of these dangerous mons are gone. Dugong could get in during Crobat and get, set us up for some really good situations with Icy Wind. Um, Dugong versus Articuno. I think this really might be the line we're going to look for. Because again, once once the scary mons are... Once the earthquake mons are out of the way, Ampharos is a pretty solid situation. And I guess it's it's going to be a little gambly because it's a fucking doubles fight and I don't see a crazy good line here. Hmm. Let's go teach... Let's go get some uh, heart scales and teach Don Fan Head Smash. And then I can think about it as we walk. I can We can do a little walk and talk. So... We still can't fly, right? That sucks. Um, what is... What is...
Um, I hate. Dude, double battles. Double battles is so much shit going. And then she has risky AI too. It's like a combination of like risky AI and. Uh, when's the, what's the closest heart scale? Where is this? Uh, why would we bring Tenta? What's the what's what would be the porpoise of Tenta? I hate not having fly. I'm afraid to walk. Too many moves in the last sentence. I don't even know if I'm walking the right way. Yeah, we're walking the right way. Yeah, why? What? What? Explain your logic behind Tenta coming. Uh, it does no ice beam, but I guess T bolt scary. And uh, er oh, earthquake very scary for Tenta. Hello, hello. There we go. Pokemon's a hard, hard game. Uh, God. Why can't we just... Uh, what is a flying type gym? I was going to say, why can't we just rip Earthquake and win? Um... That's a big man time's not coming. Oh, uh, man, oh, man. Yeah, I think uh, other mons might have electric type moves. Oh, rock type. Well, I guess that rock snipe for Tenta. I didn't really see any lines where I was like, man, Tenta would be crazy here. Huh? Huh? I swear to God. I swear to God, dude. Hey, right, where's the fucking Weedle? Where's the fucking Weedle? Poison Sting String Shot. Okay, we're fine. How much EXP does this give me? This gives me a an exceptional level of EXP. Uh, that would be bad. I guess we can spread it out along, along everybody. Just gonna continue the string shot everybody, I guess. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Okay, cool. Yeah, I knew these guys were around here. Uh, but I've walked through this area a couple times and have never proc them, so... Uh... Dude, I'm so not excited for this fight. Because it's like, what? How, how in-depth can I really prep for this that is, like, riskless and completely planned out. I feel like there's only so much you can goddamn do. All right, y'all need to y'all need to chill the fuck out. Wild encounters, that grass never works now suddenly deciding to do that. Okay, y'all need to really chill the fuck out. Cool iron. I don't go outside much as you can tell, so that iron is useful. 
All right, so we got to go... Uh, where is the fastest way to... I guess we go, like, over there into the beach that way to get that hard scale. There's no other fights that I'm forgetting about that we haven't done. Nope, not... We're, we're going to get a hard scale so we can, uh, teach Head Smash the Don Fan. I think I have a line that is doable. But I am not excited about it god what the what i i hate just prepping for double battles is a uh, kind of a nightmare prepping is a nightmare actually prepping generally is not a nightmare there's just so many variables there's just so much stuff going on every turn yeah It's like I go in, I go in bright eyed, bright eyed and bushy tailed, wanting to prep for it. Uh, yeah, go wanting to prep for double battles, and then by the time I'm like forty hours into prepping for them, I'm like, yo, I don't, I don't know how much I enjoy this anymore. Uh. Okay, where is this? Uh. Heart scale. No, not those heart scales. Um, three tiles south, two tiles west from the right stair leading to the beach. Why there? All right, whatever. Uh, I guess there, there also is one in, uh, Meteor Falls. We should probably go grab while it's on our mind in case we need another so we don't have to do all this junk. Oh, to get to Meteor, can we go back out after getting into Meteor Falls? I think so, right? And there's one in the desert, too, we should probably grab. Uh, I'm, I'll grab that one later. I don't think we're gonna use more than two. Yeah, so, like, my, my non-prepped prep is now being, like, these are all Pokemon I could maybe afford to lose that are technically good in the double battle. Yeah, of course. How could I be so foolish, Slimy Chungus? You're totally right. Man. I could take some time off stream to do all of these battles that are uh, in the middle of areas. So I don't have to stress about them. And also, I should probably get all these hard scales. But, alas. Yeah. I mean, as long as Don Fan survives the fight, I'm not, like, going to be heartbroken about it, you know? Don Fan is probably the most important. And for us, I mean, I would be sad. Um, but, anytime I see a trainer, I get a little scared. Uh, Meteor Falls, no, because we got to go. We got to go through Fiery Path. Man, wait. I can't wait till I fly. I can't wait till I'm fly. Oh my god, it's been an hour and a half. We've literally been, like, cooking for an hour and a half. Did I, uh, get toxic? I don't think I got toxic. I don't think I'm toxic. Uh, who can learn strength? Who can learn strength that can afford to drop a move slot? I guess you have a bunch of moves that effectively do the same thing. If you can learn strength, we'll give you strength. Okay, so why... What What additional way... Should I prep more? Probably. But, like, after turn two, there's so goddamn many lines. And I, Trust me, I love, I love uh, taking a line as much as the rest of them. You know what I'm saying? I love uh, doing a good line. However... It's like once Earthquake is gone, I have faith in Ampharos to be able to do stuff. The workhorse mon for the, I guess, largely for the beginning of the fight is Donphan, because Donphan can, will likely kill two. Could potentially even be cheeky and kill three. This is toxic. Yeah. 
Yeah, so Donphan, Donphan is the, the star, at least, of the beginning. And then, like, Ampharos, especially if it's killing a Mon coming in, can do a lot of damage. Is Ampharos faster than Dugong? Because that'd be sick if it wasn't. Uh, actually, no, it'd be sick if it was, right? Nah, Dugong's faster. Because if, like, Ampharos would kill something and then we could Icy Wind Amon coming in... Yeah. It's super weird. I mean, I guess a workhorse... The I think expect it. Defend my Nintendo Wii. Uh, we're just walking to uh, Heart Scale, a Pokemon. Wow, that looks like it could be cut down. That's really cool. Um, because we don't have Fly, we have to go the long way home. Who's cut? I thought you had cut. I thought you brought cut. Um, nah. So we're still Mr. Morale and the big preppers. Yeah. Do we have another mod? So, like, what's the current plan here, I guess? Donphan, Swello, Wishcash, Nidoking, Dugong, Ampharos. Dugong is like a post... Dugong, I guess, could be a pre-Earthquake mon. Uh... Swellow could be a pre-earthquake mom, but we'd be afraid of... I guess Swellow is fine with Flygon. I guess, like, Ice Shard uh, Facade would be cool against Flygon. And then I don't know how Swellow feels about... Um, Crobat. Ugh. I'm collecting those now. Um, okay. Head smash, good move. Okay. So what do we get rid of? Probably Rock Slide. I mean, Rock Slide was probably going to be good for this. Because we might be able to endeavor some shit down super low as well. And Endeavor Ice Shard is so busted. Uh, but Rock Slide, hitting two mods this fight, I, it, are we more likely to use this or this in the fight? Probably this, because if we're using this, uh, something's gonna fucking die. And this also does a lot and has priority. This is a high crit ratio? I did not know that. Oh, I hate getting rid of Endeavor. I hate getting rid of Endeavor. It's probably this. It's probably this. Okay. I'm gonna let me let me take one last moment. So in this fight, I'm definitely more likely to use Rock Slide because we're gonna at a health level that we're using Endeavor. I think most of the mods that Dom Fan's gonna solo were either hitting Rock Slide or we would hit Ice Shard. I mean hitting Head Smash or hitting Ice Shard. So I think we get rid of Endeavor. Ah! Okay. Yeah. It hurts. It makes me sad, but... Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's all I need to do. Oh, did we get... Someone gives us... Uh, frustration here. I mean, we already have enough of it in the game. Is this guy... Oh, yeah, because we exchanged this for the meteor. Oh, they froze? That's weird. Oh! Oh, fuck, wait. My game froze. Oh, no. Oh, no, dude! Oh, the repel screen broke the game! Now we have to redo all those fights we just did! The repel pop-up stopped the characters in the middle of their walk cycle, which broke the game. All of my buttons do nothing. All of my buttons do nothing. Now I lost all of that prep! 
Uh, okay, let's walk all the way back. This is why you play on official Nintendo hardware, kids. Well, that's, I mean, of, of crashes that could happen, honestly, that's pretty not detrimental. Um, because we were already kind of headed in that direction. Just give me fly early. What what is the what is the point of not giving us fly? I would love to be fly as hell. All right, so we gotta walk all the way the fuck back and then do that. Okay, now this is this is not boding well for me keeping my cool to prep longer. Um, oh no 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 no! Not the navy, especially not the British navy. Goddamn. Well, um. Okay, that was that was a great speed up. Let's keep it together. Avoid level 100 stupid trainers. Don't walk into the trainers over here. All this, yeah. So where were we in the the grand discussion of how I'm gonna get fucked in this gym? Um, I don't need to get the iron again. Uh, ba 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 ba. What up, Watson? Sony's Navy. Egg Fleet. Sonic Heroes. Yeah. So, okay. The big. I need to repel here. The big distinguishing thing is like the earthquake mons and the everything else. And as long as we have, like, Nido King, Nido King can solo a Mon. Don Fan likely is going to be able to kill two. Swallow can finish up a Mon. Wishcash can chip a Mon so that Swallow can potentially kill it. Like, Swallow can come in on, like, a Giga Drain. I guess it would depend on the Mon next to it, you know? Um. Like, with these Mons, I see a way for us to win. I see a bunch of lines and a bunch of flexibilities based on, like, taking the time in battle. I think this is just probably going to be the team. And how could... Who would need to consult a guide to know that there's a... Heart Scout right there? What fool would need to consult a guide to know there's a one exactly right there? Yeah. Um, What are we going to need for the next split? We need Blaziken for the next split. We need Donphan. We would really like to have Swellow. So I I definitely feel like there's a there's a line out of here where we keep Don Fan and Swallow at least alive and Wish Cash. I think I'm just gonna rip it. And if I if I die to my hubris, it's it's what have you. Surely I won't get an encounter in the next three steps. If let me just I'm just hoping I'm getting all the bad luck out now. This is all, this is all, bad vibes, bad vibes gone. Bad vibes taken out. The crashing is over. Let's save. Crashing is done. Bad vibes done. Losing done. Oh, <laughs> we can't be encounter on the rock smash too. Oh, this, this is, this is, this is bad news bears. This is super bad news bears here. I don't see anything possibly going wrong if this is our luck. <sighs> as long as we don't use lose Don Fan and Swallow. As long as we win it. Save truck, save stunk. <laughs> uh well, this is definitely going to be a day for gambling. You guys can bet your channel points on if I will wipe to Winona. Um, you have cut. You're in the cut. I guess Kingdra would maybe be my other option because this Kingdra... Well, I mean, Kingdra's Swift Swim. Because we have, for for Magma Hideout, I think we have a decent amount of mods. We're going to get, like, three after. I think we can do this.
Also, I'm my for better or for worse, I'm largely a person who learns by doing. So I think even if I get my ass beat, it's going to be good to learn that way. Let's go get this first before our game crashes. Oh, wait. Do we have a repel up? Let's get the repel going first. No. Yeah, so there's probably just something funky with the game and pausing things in the middle of the walks. Like, did we never... Did I not pick up the meteorite? Do I not have the meteorite? What happened? Or did I already get uh, this TM before? Weird. All right, I guess we'll never. I guess we'll never know. I already got the nugget. I did all of that for the game to crash, anyways. That's so funny. Okay. I don't have down pen in my party. Okay. What's the point of picking Donovan? We will win this fight. I've never seen us lose this fight. Our first our first turn is immaculate. Everything after that, he actually can. Uh... That's not what I want. Let's do this first. True. I've seen a. <laughs> I've never seen a fight. True. Exactly. That's why I've never seen a losable Winona, because I've never seen Winona. I've never lost Winona in my life. Because I doubt there's any time me playing through the base game I've lost to Winona. This would be my only consideration, is giving this guy. Um, I don't even know what move I dropped to give this guy Rock Tomb. Rock Shoom. Um, yeah, let's go back and forth a couple of times. It's perfect. Oh, I can learn it. Uh, What would I drop for Rock Tomb on this guy anyways? Would it be Rock Slide? And these are already great coverage moves. Because uh, when, when would we use that? It would be Ice Shard. I guess... It would be Ice Sharding... No, I don't think this thing... I think I'm, I think I'm trying to get too fancy. I think I'm just trying to get too fancy. I don't need to. I do not need it. Okay. Is there... What's the fastest way of getting back? Is it walking this way? It's probably going through Meteor Falls. No, we gotta walk all the way that way anyway. Let's just go this way. Be so fast. So furious. Okay. Uh, I'm so, I'm so, so ready. Oh, I'm glad I path that. I mean, it's, I think we're more than over leveled for that double battle now, but still great, great pathing by me. Okay, we can do this. We have enough mons that can take care of the contentious first part of the fight. We can sack mons. I should not feel bad, too bad about sacking mons here if I have to, to guarantee a fight we can win. Because we can win. We will win, I dare to say. I've never seen us lose this fight. Swallow... Wish Cash, Needle King, Dugong, Amphi. True, I can sack up the five. It would be a little sketch without without our, our mons, but we've got we've got the greatest chicken. We got another break on the rock. Where was that luck when we were that one run where we were breaking rocks every time in the magma gone that they get a golem? Where was that? 
What up, Watson? I like saying hi to Watson every time. Just like make sure I know I'm keeping an eye on him. We don't have anyone to serve. Um, we have a lot of Swift Swim Pokemon. Yeah, OnlyFans being alive is probably the one we want alive the most, quite frankly. Iron. Let's not walk into the fights here. We be cutting. They call me... If I was a Mega Man villain, villain, villain I would be cut man. Let's not fight the uh, million level Weedle again. Stay the fuck away from me, you stupid bug catchers. You ugly bug catchers. With your ugly mugs. Alright. Yeah, so I think this is a fight. I remember when I was so bold and beautiful thinking this would go easy. We're just we are gonna take the turns safe though. We have to we have to take the turns. See that is that is part of my logic. Uh, this is a super cope, uh, so totally do not put cope in the chat. Um, that was kind of scary. Um, that I'm saving my mental energy instead of prepping everything even more in depth. I'm saving my mental energy for the battle itself because within double battles, there's a lot of junk you have to do prep wise. Or there's a lot of calcs you have to do in the moment because it's a double battle and so many things can happen. All right. Gamers, I think it's about damn time. I am terrified. Does this learn something in 55? No. Save the mental. That's pretty. As much as I hate that, I, that is pretty funny. I will give you that. Um, you need a citrus. You need a citrus. Um, you need a citrus. You need the beat. Many is the wrong Pokemon there. Um, Do, 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 do. Oh man. Can you tell I'm nervous <laughs> that I'm rethinking my decisions? Do I not? Do I only want to bring a, fight, a flying type that is Swellow? Probably. Awfully hot coffee pot. Swell is going to take so much damage from burns, right? Swell needs to be in against something that is, like, keeping it safe, right? Uh, is there any other bird I could use to bait? Better do it now than a mid-fight. Uh, is there anyone else who can do that bait? Um, and would be more healthy later? Um, Mantine, Mantine versus, I mean, definitely going to bait Bolt from Zapdos and then would bait, um, does it take enough damage? It doesn't guarantee bait AP from Aerodactyl. It does have Ice Beam too. This is the box, gotcha. Don't be so pushy, jeez. Mantine isn't faster, but it does have Ice Beam. And Mantine could come in on an Earthquake and a... How does Mantine feel just like about Flygon in general, right? Mantine fucks up Flygon. Uh, can Mantine learn Rock Tomb? This might be a, a last minute pivot. Especially if Mantine can learn Rock Tomb. Um, hmm. I think Mantine's going to be better. Fuck it. 
and we don't have to risk swallow okay i think that's the team i'm gonna run the i'm gonna run the gamba now How do you spell Winona? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit longer because I'm gonna uh, run. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Did I do it right? Uh, what is? Yeah, I want to look at the Pokedex right now. Absolutely. Um, you already have Surf. Surf hits only. Surf hits only the enemies in this gen, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it, dog. Oh, we get a we get an edge. Edging will actually help us a ton. I think we can. I really think I can just better Pokemon this. Okay. Best bird is blazing. Best bird is a Pelipper. Okay. It's Winona time. I'm fucking done prepping. I've seen enough. I know the lines. I am the smartest person in the game, of course. Um, so we're going to just uh, cook. Want to see a wipe? Why would you want to see a wipe? How dare you? Uh, no. That's totally reasonable. It's like, uh, you go to NASCAR to see... Not... You don't want to see someone get in a car crash. But if you do see it, that would be really exciting. You know? You don't want to see a car crash. But if it happens, it's like, whatever. All right, I'm going to go run to the bathroom real quick. And then we're going to have the time of our lives doing some stupid, stupid, stupid shit. Ah! Let's go, Untitled. Let's go. Let's go, Untitled. Let's go. Oh, well, I don't love to hear that. I don't want people to get hurt at races. Okay. Yeah, that's a big... That's a lot of... Is that just you who's voted for the Gomble, uh, Skeleton? That's a lot of points to put in. I respect it. All right. My, this is my first time ever fighting Winona. This is the furthest I've ever been. This fight is, quite frankly, terrifying. Uh, we don't have a good Salamance who's not fast, so we don't really have a great option in that uh, as an Intimidator. As another Intimidator, Gyarados is already dead. So those two big options that I think I would want to lean on, we do not have. Golem, also a great option. We do not have. So... Because of some of the decisions I've made to lead me to this point, is put me in a poor situation. Additionally, I've tried prepping out some lines, but there's so many, so many options that could happen after turn one that it gets pretty messed up with the fog. Our general plan is to take care of the Earthquake Mon and have Ampharos run through the rest of the team with Dugong and, and uh, Neo King hopefully providing some support in there, is our general idea. What actually happens between me 
and Winona. Let's run it. They're not bird Pokemon anymore. I guess they never were. They were only bird Pokemon in beta, but... <sighs> Let me get my calcs all proper and prim. Double battle. Attack boost, speed boost, defense boost. Donphan. So, I mean, this is the only turn we know exactly what we want to do every time. This is going to be Head Smash here, and this is going to be Swap into Ground-type here. That's fine. Oh, that did a decent amount. Okay, 50-50 on if it kills or not. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. Okay, so let's check our healths. Healths. Uh, now we get a free turn to attack with Oscar. Okay, so this is, I mean, this is always going to be Ice Shard into this slot, of course. And then um, we want to check if Aerodactyl... Uh, Aerodactyl cannot kill Donphan. Aerodactyl, yeah, does nothing. It's probably just going to be Earthquake. Um, so I think what we want to do is... I mean, we could go back into Mantine here. Oh, Ancient Power does a lot from Aerodactyl. Uh, the option is either Muddy Water on both slots or Aurora Beam on the left-hand slot. I think Aurora Beam... Hmm... Chipping down Flygon or getting the... I, I think, because we're trying to get the Earthquakers down, I think we, we rip a Muddy Water. I think that makes the most sense here, to start getting the, the Earthquakers down. Yeah, so Ice Shard's going to come through kill. And we I think we have two chances at uh, Ack Drops, which could really help us. Yo, Ack. Cool. And getting levels on all of our Pokemon is nice. Word? We get Ice Beam at 56? 56? <laughs> I hate this game. If only. Oh, how does that work if we use Aurora Beam and we don't have the move anymore? I wonder how that would work. Whatever, we're not going to see it. Quality Trunks. OnlyFans might be, uh, this actually might be better because OnlyFans might, ooh, act drop, a crit, okay, Oscar's kind of popping off, Oscar might be high, no, no Oscar's probably still baiting the, uh, Giga Drain from Flygon, that's kind of the, the big question here, right, uh, Winona, Giga Drain does 142 minimum to Oscar, so Oscar definitely dead to Giga Drain, uh, question is also only fans dead to giga drain it could be dead to giga drain so we probably have to double swap here um it is more likely to giga drain into the right hand slot so um it's probably gonna be earthquake right of the mods we have uh seal doesn't love Earthquake. I mean, it could miss, too. It could also miss. Uh, Ancient Power is going to be scary for that slot. Um, yeah, it's likely just Earthquake. It could be AP. Uh, I think Dugong is the, the best person for an Earthquake. Um, yeah. He's not happy about it, but... So we're going to go seal on that slot, and then... It sucks we're not really getting anywhere with this swap. Uh... Okay, let's see what happens here. We'd like to see Earthquake from Aerodactyl that misses seal the deal, and then Flygon Giga Draining the right-hand slot. Hey, seal avoided it! Wow! Oh, we got the perfect turn! We got the perfect turn! We got the perfect turn. Okay. What now? What now? What now? What now? 
Um, Aerodactyl doesn't see a kill on either of these mods. Uh, Age of Power does a lot to both these slots. This is not normally. True. Check him, PC. Uh, I think... I mean, if either of these mods get doubled up here, I think we're fucked. Which is the problem. Uh... Uh, okay. Let's really think about this turn. I don't think we can play around double up. I don't think we can play around crit. Uh, especially, we do have the chance because of Muddy Water for this to miss. So, uh, Aerodactyl is 178. Flygon is 132. I think neither of these Pokemon are afraid of Flygon. Uh, Flygon is 132. So, they're both going to get to attack. And then Mantine, um, oh, is Mantine faster than Dugong? Mantine is faster than Dugong. Okay, this is good. This is, oh, I, I think I see the line. Uh, I guess Dugong doesn't like Earthquake from Flygon. It's likely going to be Earthquake. Um, but Icy Wind might also kill Flygon. Okay. I think the line here is, well, it, how, Mantine, how much does this do to Arrow? Um, is... Oh, Ice Beam probably doesn't kill Aerodactyl. Is, pro, is... I think it's Icy Wind, Ice Beam. <sighs> Let me just... Manny's not guaranteed dead to Ancient Power, right? There's a couple of rolls. I think we gotta rip this and pray. Seal avoided the attack again? Insane. Insane moves from Seal the deal. So this, if this kills, that would be... Oh, man. That sucks. So this is going to make Flygon slower and kill that. That is one slippery deal. So now that's slower. I'm not hacking. I'm not hacking. Crobat. All right. Crobat's going to go first. We know this. It is known. Uh, Crobat, uh, 162. Crobat. Uh, 162. Uh, Sky Attack does not see a kill on Mantine, but Sky Attack see a kill on Seal. Um, potentially. So I think we might be swapping out the seal slot. Um, cause well, will Flygon see a kill on seal, uh, with like Giga Drain or something? Earthquake. It's pr it can can see a kill with Earthquake. So it's probably gonna be Earthquake on that left hand slot, which I don't think we'd love. Ooh, Taco Bell, thank you for the follow. That scared. The ha I should change the emotes out to something else. Holy moly, that scared the crap out of me. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, when does Flygon attack? Well, oh, well, Flygon... Flygon's minus one. If we can... <laughs> uh, Surf should kill Flygon. 15%? Let me line this ruler up. Yeah, so Surf should kill Flygon and would chip Crobat. So, we don't have to worry about Flygon's move, because Manny moves before Flygon and is going to kill it. Okay, so then we just have to worry about what Crobat's going to do. And Crobat is going to likely Sky Attack. Oh, if it doesn't target that slot, it's going to Sky Attack. Or... Uh, yes, it's going to Sky Attack. So can Donphan come safely in on that? Sky Attack max damage is going to do 66 to Donphan. Okay, okay, that's a line, that's a line. And then that means we're done with Earthquakers. We're done with the Quakers. So Seal goes into Donphan here, who Donphan now is going to, now that it's low enough, is going to be baiting two damaging moves. So we do that into that, and then we go Surf here. Okay. And Surf only hits the enemies in this generation. If 
And this is going to do some self damage as well. Cool. Okay. Now OnlyFans is going to be baiting two damaging moves. Uh, ice, definitely Ice Shard. Because it's going to... Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, we're cooking, we're cooking, we're cooking. Okay, we're cooking. We are cooking! <laughs> okay, so... From Crobat, this is going to be... Oh, it could be Hidden Power Ground. Uh, could be... So it's random move from Crobat into the left-hand slot. And then Articuno is going to be Ice Shard every time. So we know what's going to happen into that slot. Uh, and then what can Mantine... Who are we more afraid of? Uh, Articuno or Crobat? Well, actually, who can Mantine just do more damage to? Can't really do much to Articuno, but to Crobat. Uh, Ice Beam does a considerable amount. So we're going to go this into... So OnlyFans has to go into a mod that is cool with Ice Shard and um, Random Move. So who's cool with Ice Shard? Um, Articuno. I'm like shaking. Ice Shard is like 50 to that. Um, it might be Amphi here. Um, it's probably, oh, well, no, then hidden power, then if, yeah, so I guess the thing we'd be afraid of, we just need it to not be Giga Drain into Wish Cash. I think this has to be a swap into Wish Cash, so we're baiting hidden power grass on the swap on that, and then we can kill... And then we can bring in Andrew. Yeah, I think this this is a little risky of a swap, of course. Um, but I think this goes... Oh, we go the seal the deal, too. How much is seal take from random move from Crobat? Uh, it would probably die. I think we need to do this. Uh, we need to do this. Uh, and then we're going to do Ice Beam from Mantine. Of course I'm a Calc Gremlin. I'm just a gremlin gremlin. And we hope for it to be like sky attack. So it, it does self, uh, does recoil damage. Let's ball. So it's going to be ice shard, random move to the left. It does do a decent amount. Oh, that, that kills wish cash and heals it up. That's unfortunate. That's a one in four to hit that, sadly. Okay. That is really fucking unfortunate. Um, I think we bring Android in here. I think we bring Android in here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll rip cash. If only that was a freeze. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. If, I'm I'm cool with. I mean. I'm not happy about that, but, like, that's a one and four. I think we need it for better positioning. So, Mantine's faster. Uh, what is left? It's just Moltres in the back, right? It's just Moltres in the back. Hmm. Okay, let's think, let's think about our end game here. Dorian can one-shot and kill Moltres, and I don't think Moltres is... Uh, so, T-Bolt, I mean, well... Hmm. How fast is Nido King? How fast is Articuno? Nido King's not faster than Articuno, and Nido King is very afraid of Articuno. Um, uh, is Nido King afraid of Moltres? A little bit, but less so. Oh, Nido King would be as long as Nido King has a level up coming in, it can outspeed and kill. But Nido King already been in. Nido King has been in. No, so Nido King needs the level up to it. Uh, I don't know. What did the Gomble do? 
Uh, now you, now you're hoping I do wipe. Uh, okay. Is Articuno, so is Articuno scary for Android? Not really. So I think what we do here, uh, cause Mantine can kill Crobat with Ice Beam. Um, yeah. Yeah, so what we're going to do here is we're going to T-Bolt the Moltres coming in and pray to God. We've What are the odds we kill that Moltres? Above 50% to kill the Moltres coming in. That's going to be Hidden Power Ground, which I think even a crit doesn't kill. Cool. Double up on Android is a little scary. Android holds. Ice Beam should kill. No! Oh, come on, Manny! That's bad. <laughs> okay. Good news is Android's probably baiting two killing moves here. So, uh, Overheat will kill. Sky Attack will not kill. So this is always Overheat from Moltres. Okay. And then from Articuno, um, this is always Ice Beam. So we know, we know the two move moves that are coming and, uh, Overheat, I said? Ice Beam and Overheat. Uh, yes. Man, Surf does, like, nothing to Moltres. That's really disappointing. <sighs> Ice Beam and Overheat. Oh, Seal can take both of those. No issue, right? I mean, Overheat does do a lot. Ice Beam's not going to do jack. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to go... Here on that. And then we're gonna go here on this. I wish we had better moves for Manny to use. Cause this is Ice Beam Overheat should take hopefully we get something pretty in here. Ice Beam's not gonna do anything. Overheat with thick fat is gonna help. Okay, Seal's probably baiting damaging moves now. I mean, if we could have Manny bait damaging moves and get Needle King in here, the head smash, that would be beautiful. But, uh, okay, so this is Sky Attack? This is always Sky Attack? Um, is this random move from Moltres? This is random move from Moltres into the Seal the Deal slot. Um, and then it is from Articuno. Um, Hidden Power Grass. Hidden Power Grass and Random Move. Uh, uh, how does Moltres Random Move feel about that? If it's Overheat, Dorian just dies. I think I should have brought something instead of Dorian. But I think this is the move here again. <sighs> Maybe it'll get Poison Pointed. What's that? That's Hidden Power Grass. That is also Hidden Power Grass? Okay, the next Surf will kill. <sighs> Problem is... <sighs> Uh, there's a mon's probably gonna die in that left hand slot. Uh, okay, what is Nido King dead to? I hope it's dead to Ice Shard. If it's dead to Ice Shard, there's a chance 
we get out of here safely. Um, it is dead to Ice Shard. So it's Ar Articuno is clicking Ice Shard. And then Moltres is clicking... Um, uh, Moltres is clicking... Sky Attack or Overheat. Uh Seal always dies to overheat. I think we win this, but I think we're going to have to sack two Pokemon here. Yeah. I think this will hopefully help seal the deal. Seal the deal. You've been a legendary Pokemon. Dodging all those earthquakes so you'd be healthy enough to make it here. Thank you so much, King. Thank you for taking the crit, too. <sighs> okay, big question here. We need to bring... Oh, uh, can Android take a Ice Shard? They can. Yeah, because this is... Both Mons already attacked. This is going to bait Ice Shard, guaranteed. Um, and Android can take that. Okay. Dorian getting the level doesn't help. Okay, so now this is going to be... Well, what is... It baits Ice Beam on that. Oh, so I guess if we're... we're it might be an old sketchy situation. Um, how much can Manny do to this guy? Manny can't really do too much to this guy. I think we still might be in a bit of a fucked situation how do we get out of here losing less pokemon because it's going to take we already did it's going to take like three surfs to do this why is this thing so fast dorian's not faster dorian's too slow okay so the GOAT thing here would probably be a static proc. Uh, Manny can't provide any sort of status or shit here. Surf does the most damage because we're now into singles damage rolls. We're not faster, so that's not going to do that. So I guess we just rip Surf here. I don't even know if static could proc on a nice move. Nah. Okay. Hmm. So this is always ice beam. Uh oh, is it ice shard? It is exactly ice shard. Uh, ne uh, Nito's not faster, is the problem. Nito's giga slow. We need two more surfs to kill this. So, uh, it's gonna be Ice Shard. Does Ice Shard always kills Nito King, too? Yeah. So, it's like, who do we sack first? <laughs> Unfortunately. I We already have a lot of electric types. I think this is gonna get sacked anyway. Maybe it, like, freaks out. Gets parad, something crazy happens. Android. Ah! Surf crit would be so great here. Surf crit would be so, so, so great here. I don't even know if we... 
I don't know if we get out of this with anything more than Manny. This is going to be Ice Shard to kill that. And OnlyFans is not going to get to attack with Ice Shard if this doesn't kill because it's going to Ice Shard our us. So I need this to kill for Manny to live. That was Grace and Command of Pokemon? Did we see the same fight right there? I don't think that was graceful. I don't think that was smart. I don't think I played that well. I won, but... All right. No, 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 no. Will we wipe to Winona? No. I did not sack five. Ah, uh, yeah, I did get through Winona. Yeah, it does. Every every time I I lose a fight, every even if I lose with a bunch of sacks, it feels bad. It does not feel good losing with four sacks. I mean, of the Pokemon that survived, are arguably. I guess Oscar maybe is more valuable. Uh, ah, these arguably might be two of our strongest Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn, we lost a legend here, dude. I think so. Uh, thanks for popping through MFL. Appreciate it. Manny true. Yeah, Manny never got touched. I think bringing Dorian was probably a mistake. Um, yeah. Dorian was probably just like only fans, of course, carried. I think this was a right bring. I think this was a good bring. Us also missing that, uh, not being able to T-Bolt Moltres as it came in ended up being a fucking disaster. Dorian actually was really good for baiting Ice Shard. So actually, I don't know if this was a terrible bait bring. I think missing that range there really, really sucked on the Ice Beam. If Manny had better damaging moves or better stats, how good is this Antine? Yeah, he did keep on baiting Ice Shard, which was, like, really helpful. I guess if it had better special attack, we'd be cooking. It's a shame that Surf, uh, did so little damage there, but it was the most damaging move. Yeah. I think the most detrimental loss here is, of course, Oscar. Android's been really good at fights. I mean, both these months. I'm not happy about any of these losses. I'm happy to be past Winona, but I'm not... We need to be very good. We need some good additional uh, deaths after. I mean, good captures after this. So that's up to 16 deaths. Well, that was 11 plus 4 is 15. Yeah. yeah. And I guess Nito, we really haven't brought to any fight. Maybe I'm I'm definitely coping a little bit. Um, uh, level cap. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm past Winona. That's, I mean, as a first Winona, uh, I'm happy I won first time Winona. Maybe I, if I had a better, I'm going to, yeah, yeah. It, it's, I got through it. I should be happy. I should be happy that I'm through it and I'm into the longest split in the game. Let's go. Who is technically the uh, Mon with the cap? Wallace? Or not, uh, Taint Liza. True. Under, I've never, I've never lost to, I've never lost to Winona. It's so true. Uh, okay, well this, this might be too long for the overlay, right? How do I, uh, I'll go T and L. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. I don't want to push it too much. I, I want to do some troubleshooting on my computer. So hopefully tomorrow tomorrow we'll probably have an early stream because I don't think I'm gonna go to work tomorrow because I'm fucking sick and tired of that shit. Uh, oh, I can update the uh, things. Not because I'm I do not follow my I'm not going to work tomorrow because I have sick time that I have to use before I quit my job, which I'm planning to do in a couple of months that they won't pay me out for. So that is why I'm using my sick time. Plus, I have a gig this weekend that I am exhausted from the gigs last weekend. Um, yeah. 
I just I just like naming it so people have a, an idea of where the cap is. I mean, sometimes the cap isn't gym leaders, so I think TNL the know. Uh, anyways, yeah. So I we get a huge level bump. I might also level up some mons off stream. Um, and we get Mount Pyre here. We get uh, actually a handful of encounters. We get a, a, hopefully we're going to get some good mods. Yeah, we have the last rival fight. Second last rival fight. Anyways, I'm, I'll look at all this stuff because I've got a lot more to learn. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, God. No, we're not playing TFT. There we go. <laughs> I hit my little thing. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow, probably in an early stream. The best way to know when I'll be live is subscribing over on YouTube and following over on Twitch. I uh, also have a new video coming out tomorrow. It's going to be covering the first two gyms um, and all that. So, uh, Munch, Skelts Gang, Taco Bell, Spicy Food. I don't think Overtow was here. Uh, Sky Crimes. Oh, no, Overtow was. Overtow was here on YouTube. Got it. Munch and all that. Skeleton Gang, thank you for your traditional unfollow and refollow. I've been Saves Untitled. I am both excited and terrified to go forward into this split, which I think has been, is one of the most, is the longest, one of the longest, one of the most daunting, and is honestly very terrifying. But, you never learn anything unless you go out into things that are uncomfortable, new, or scary to you. I've been Saves Untitled. Enjoy the rest of your day. Do something fun. Give yourself a snack. Drink some water. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.